Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Growing up in uh, my small hometown in Reedley, which is just south of here, you know, I didn't have to worry about narcotic sales, usage, gangs. It was a real tight community. And with my father being in law enforcement for that town, you know, I learned good moral character from him. And, uh, I think that's the uh, trouble in these neighborhoods is there's no one to teach the young kids what moral character is all about. Uh, we're in an area of town now in the central part that's uh, known for its drug, narcotics, and possession. So uh, we're going to go in here and see what we can find. We're going to contact this female over here. As soon as we came around the corner, uh, she started walking away real fast, and now she's kind of looking back at us a little nervous. So we're going to make contact with her. How you doing? Can I talk to you for a second? Okay. You got anything on you? No. No? Is this my contact? Okay, well, shake your hands out of your pockets. Sure. Take your hands out of your pockets. Okay, I'm gonna pat you down, okay? Yes, I told you I got a contact. Okay. That's it. A lighter, a compact, and my makeup. Why are you so nervous? Because I don't like you guys. You guys make me scared. Okay. Cigarettes. There's two pipes in there, but they're his. Okay. Yeah. Crack pipe, huh? time you spoke? Like an hour ago. Uh, you're under the influence right now. I can see you. Don't take me to jail, please. Huh? Don't take me to jail. Turn around. <laughs> I don't have anything. Don't resist. <laughs> Baz 5, Code 3, Phil, <laughs> in the alley north of White. East of the tracks. <laughs> Relax, okay? <laughs> Relax, or I'm going to tase you. Did you in the alley? Lay, out, lay flat on your back. Put your back, put your hands behind you. Don't resist. Don't move. There's a big chunk of rock that fell out. Be secure, 1142 hours. It popped out right here. It's a chunk of rock. So it was like by Clark, right? Uh, in the alley north of White, as I uh, attempted to pat her down, she uh, took her compact out, which had narcotics in it, and she threw it. She threw uh, some dope down. I'm trying to find it. It's right here somewhere. Right here. All right, I found the narcotics right here. Piece of crack cocaine. It's right there. Another piece right here. What's, what's your name? You don't know? Okay, you're in the rest for uh, possession of uh, cocaine and uh, crack pipe, okay? And also resisting arrest. I didn't resist no arrest. Well, yeah, you did. Okay. Thank you, I'm pregnant, so uh, I'm gonna talk to your sergeant. 
You what? I'm pregnant. I'm 17 weeks. Okay. George, copy, sorry. You got a wagon coming for me? No, I was, I'm going to start an ambulance. Fast five. Disregard the uh, wagon. She's pregnant. I need a code two back here. We're taking her to get her uh, checked out. She said she's 17 weeks pregnant. The reason I called you out here is because she requested to talk to you. So, because uh, she felt like she shouldn't have been thrown to the ground while, because uh, she was pregnant. But she tried to get away. I grabbed her, forced her to the ground. Uh, no taser application, no nothing. She didn't appear pregnant to me. Uh, she, you're 17 weeks pregnant, right? So. Has that been confirmed by a doctor? No? So how do you know you're pregnant? Because I haven't had my period in four months, duh. You worried about our little wrestling match and you're smoking crack and you're pregnant? I don't care, I want to die. What? So I'm good. I'm going to kill myself anyway, so it doesn't matter. Why would you say something like that? You got to think of your baby. I care about my kid. Huh? OK. OK. Why did you try to fight me? Why did you try to get away? Because that It belonged to that black guy that was with you? So he just left you high and dry, huh? Basically. What we're going to do is we're going to take you to the hospital, get you examined, make sure everything's OK, and then you're going to be booked into the Fresno County Jail for possession of uh, crack pipe, rock cocaine, and resisting arrest, OK? Are you familiar with it? No, not at all. OK, they've had, they've had contact with her here this past week, and, uh -huh. and each and every time they've had contact with her, she's always been a hostile and been very, very sarcastic, things of that nature. So it doesn't okay. surprise me. Uh, this is Barbara. She's uh, 17 weeks pregnant. Uh, she tried to bolt for me. I took her in a headlock, and uh, we went down to the ground pretty hard on her stomach. Okay. So uh, we want her uh, examined before she goes to jail. Okay. What's her name? Uh, Barbara. Barbara, do you have any medical complaints right now? Yeah. What? My arm and my leg hurts. Yeah, I think uh, she was trying to get away because she had the, she knew she had the rock on her. I opened up the box that she had the crack pipe in, and a cockroach leg fell out and also some sort of uh, homemade smoking device along with the crack pipe. And here's the piece of rock cocaine that she had uh, on her possession. You know, the sad thing about it, she's smoking rock, she's out here possessing it, fighting the police. Sad, very sad. This is what crack does to you. I think that's an interesting thing. This one piece will make 52 layers. Watch on mobile devices or the big screen. All for free. No subscription required. Download Veely now. We're en route to an injury collision where a vehicle apparently went through uh, one of the walls of a, a local bar. We've got units en route and fires en route to the location. Uh, the area we're going to is a uh, business area. There's a few taverns in the nearby area. On Friday and Saturday night, it's pretty busy, and more than likely, the bar is pretty full right now. Uh, we're going to get in the area and assist the traffic unit and see what he needs, and hopefully render aid if anybody's injured. We're going to be arriving shortly. 363 County arriving. Okay. Apparently, there's no injuries. Fire is going to be canceling. Good. Did you see this? Okay, I need you to go away. Make sure everyone, anyone's not inside here. I just told him somebody not to stop this crawling. Well, this appears to be the back office here. There's open bottles of liquor smashed everywhere. It doesn't appear that anyone's in here trapped, but it looks like the car hit it pretty good. It, I'm thinking it might be a DUI. Is this your car? Okay, what happened? I don't know. I was in the club. Where was it parked at? It was over there. Okay, and how did it end up here? I don't know. I just came out the club. I have my keys somewhere. said something about a gold escort, and I just okay. came in out the club. Okay. You know what I mean? It's got a black truck. A black? No. Okay. Did anybody see anything? No witnesses? 
We were a witness to this accident. What happened here? Okay. Somebody almost got ran over. We were driving through this parking lot right here, uh -huh. and this car just sped through, hit a man, flipped him over, and just kept on backing up. Okay, where's where's the man that got hit? I don't know. I don't know where. You don't know? Did you guys call the police after you saw that? No, we went no. to the store to go tell. We reported it to the store. And you have a cell them. phone with you. I went to the store and asked them to report this. Yeah. Because my cell phone charger was. This car hit somebody. Yeah, he hit somebody. Physically hit somebody. Who knows? This guy might still be around here. Do you guys have any description of the person that was driving this car? You know what? They were driving so fast we couldn't see him. Was it a male, a female, black, white? A female. Female driver. Maybe Caucasian. I'm not sure. Okay. And then what happened after the car ended up here? Where did that driver go? No. No. I didn't see that. Okay. Where did you see the car? Did you physically see the car do all this damage? Yes. Okay. We were about right here, actually, and then the car was coming through and hit the guy, and then backed yeah. up really fast, and then drove into this. So where was right the here. guy actually hit at? He was hit about right there where that police car is. Okay. Was he hit hard enough to be flown anywhere? Yes. He yeah. flipped. So was he physically he... flipped. Where did, did yeah. you see him land, or could he be laying over there somewhere? No. He got up and walked away, and yeah. then we pulled out because we didn't know what this car was going to do, so we drove fast over here to report it because we didn't know if the car was going to drive back and hit us so we were like let's get out let's flee the scene so we don't get okay too. you know what here's the deal i'm not here to pry information out of you all right if you you know what no that's not a reason to be upset if you saw her driving the vehicle and you're withholding information from me that's obstructing an investigation wait a minute all right did you see her driving yeah she was driving all right Roger. Right. We need you guys to hang tight. Don't go anywhere. You guys need to stay right here. Right now, you're all three staying right here. Don't go anywhere. All right? Hang tight. Witnesses say she was driving. Were you driving the car? Were you driving the car? Okay. Were you driving the car, yes or no? Yes or no? Oh my God. Okay, it's not the time to cry. Were you driving the vehicle? I know yes it's or no? not the time to cry, man. I'm Were you driving the vehicle? Go. Yes or no? Is that a yes? She was driving. Oh my God. Vivian. Yes, okay. I was driving the car. Okay. So why are you going along with all this the story? Break? Because they're scared that they don't. I'm scared. I've got two children at home. Man. How much you been drinking tonight? None, I swear. Okay, so why are you lying to us then? Because you just my compounded your problems. Got hit. He got scared. You hit your boyfriend. I didn't mean. Why to did? You, how did you end up hitting your? Where is he? I, he left. Is he injured? No, he left. He got out the car. I went to reverse because I was getting ready to leave. I meant to hit the brake, and I kid you not, I swear to you. Okay, did you back into him or did you drive forward? I actually hit him. It freaked me okay. out. And so I hit did the you get? Did you get out of the car? Did you get out of the car and check on him, or did you drive off? No, I did, and he took okay. off. Okay, did you get out of the car and check on him? I swear. Uh, yes, that's why I. I okay, I, why did he take off? Were you guys arguing? Were you I'm arguing in the? Yes. So you had a confrontation in the car. He got out. And I went to reverse. I was getting ready to leave, and I hit the gas. See, now your story is making more sense. You're in a heap of trouble. You are in a heap of trouble. Okay, why don't you do me a favor and have a seat for a couple minutes, okay? Come on, quick pat down. Go to your end. Okay, what we do is I would place you under arrest for obstructing right now, okay? The whole story we got when we first got here about there being another car and you acting all surprised about what happened to your car is obstructing an investigation, okay? We got a ton of damage here. And we got your boyfriend that may be hurt somewhere. I don't know where he is right now. Right here, right there. Okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna have to look for him to make sure he's not injured. So you understand why you're going downtown? You lied to us, which caused a lot more resources to be here than what we actually needed. So it all probably stemmed from a domestic dispute that turned into you probably running your boyfriend over and backing through this business, and then you lied to us about it. So we're gonna end it right here, and you're gonna be going downtown, okay? I've been with the, the sheriff's department now for a little over six years. I wanted a, a career that was going to be challenging, something different every day. I mean, I've done a, a lot of different jobs in my life, so none of it really, really did it for me. I went on a couple ride-alongs with some buddies of mine, and I just fell in love with it. And I knew that's what I had to do. Hey, we're going to go ahead and pull this car over in front of us. Tags are expired for about a month. Love meant six traffic. I have the return.
Hello. Hi. I'm Deputy Brunton. What are you doing? What am I doing? Oh, Sheriff's Department. The reason I'm pulling you over is because your tags are expired. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? I mailed it down. Oh, come on. It would show that a uh, registration in progress. There's nothing like that. You got a marijuana pipe sitting right there in plain view, girl. What are you doing? You pretty stoned? Is that why you forgot to hide it? Can you turn the car off? Go ahead and drive by the car for me. Okay, come on over here and talk to me so we don't get hit. Come on up here. How much weed you smoke tonight? How much weed did you smoke tonight? Don't, don't play with me, because I'll have a DUI car come over here and you'll go to jail for driving under the influence of marijuana. All right, I'm not stupid. I can see it in your eyes. How much weed you got in the car? I don't have any weed. You don't have none? Just what's in the bowl? Yeah. Are you lying to me? Because I'm going to go, I'm going to look. No, I'm not lying. Huh? No, I'm not lying. Is that pipe still hot? You just got done hitting it or what? No, I didn't. No? Tilt your head all the way back. Close your eyes. Mad six. Cut to the You're stoned, girl. Are you going to tell me you're not? Because I'm not. Oh, you're not? I just... I don't know. I'm just scared. Sorry. Huh? Because I'm just a little nervous. You should be nervous. You know what I mean? Never been arrested before. You got weed sitting there right there in your car where I could see it. That's not good. That's not good, Angela. You sure there's nothing else in there? Because I'm going to go look. If you're lying to me, you're going to go to jail, and I'm going to take your car. No, there's nothing else. OK, just that little bit of weed. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go look. Don't run. Because if you run, I'll chase you. She's got a uh, marijuana pipe sitting right next to her cookies. A little bit of marijuana residue in there. What's in this, another marijuana pipe? No? What? A meth pipe? Girl. You got meth in here too? Look, you, you've been lying to me from the get-go because you told me there was nothing else illegal. And then I find this, now. Not that I knew of. Huh? Not that I knew of. Not that you know of. Not that I knew of. Huh? Not that I knew of. What do you mean? Do you have anything on you you're not supposed to have? Stand up. Anything in your pockets? Um, a cigarette. Take them out. Cigarette. Matches. Well, I don't know what to believe. Everything that's coming out of your mouth is a lie so far. Has it not been? You know what I mean? You tell me you don't smoke weed. You tell me there's nothing else in your car. I find a meth pipe. I'm still looking. Meth six. Do we have another unit of, uh, in the area? So far, it's a meth pipe um, used for smoking uh, methamphetamine. Looks like there's some residue in there, not a whole lot. Probably enough to charge her with possession of a controlled substance. Marijuana pipe, and we're still looking, so we'll see what else we got in here. And a straw. So you're not only smoking speed, you're snorting speed. What's going on, Scotty? Um, she's not being real truthful with me yet. I just found another uh, container that has a straw that has residue in it as well, so. Who's the last time you used? Who's the last time you used? Huh? Earlier today. What's earlier? A few hours ago. Huh? A few hours ago. A few hours ago? How much to smoke? Nothing really. Nothing really? Like, no, seriously. How often do you use? This is like the first time. It's, I am. First time was today? <laughs> no, it's been the first time in a while. I was actually doing really good. You fell back off the wagon, huh? Find a baggie. She's got a straw. She's never been arrested before. 21 years old. Um, no job. She's just uh, heading down the wrong track. So I'm thinking she's gonna probably need to go to jail, if nothing else, for an eye opener. What was your first name again? Angela. Angela? How long you been using speed? I just did it today. Today's the first time you've ever used it. For, like, a while. Why? Why do you use speed? 
What's the attraction? You seem like a nice girl. You know what I mean? You've never been arrested before. Do you know what this stuff will do to you? I mean, you must know what it'll do to you. You're using it, right? So you, you research it, you know what's in it. I mean, this is some bad stuff. You know you're going down the wrong road, right? Sad, you seem like a nice girl. You know what I mean? You probably come from a, a decent family. You still living at home? Yeah? You got any kids, anything like that? No? You plan on having a family someday, living a regular life? Yeah, this isn't gonna get you there. You know what I mean? Well, more than likely what's gonna happen now is you're gonna go to jail. We're gonna go look at this, we're gonna determine whether or not we're gonna scrape the residue out of this, or we're just gonna charge you with the possession of the drug paraphernalia. All right, I'll be back. She goes to jail, she's either gonna determine that she, she hates it and she never wants to go back there again, or she's gonna, yeah, it's not so bad, I don't mind this. The dope's worth it. And I don't think that's gonna be this case. I think this is gonna be one of those cases that we can actually change someone's life, hopefully for the better, and get her off of this. Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I like the guys that I work with. we got a really good squad right now. Uh, in fact, all the way just from the worker bee levels. All our sergeants are guys that came from the squad and have promoted up. And in fact, our lieutenant is even the same way. So it's, uh, it's real good to have the support we have and the teamwork and the camaraderie we have right now. Every night we go to work, we have a good time working together. We all go out and chase bad guys, and we all go home safely. At least that's our goal. Feel it, feel it. We had uh, Washington State Patrols ask for our help. They're trying to catch up to a Jeep, and they've asked us to try and get ahead of them with spike strips. And we're just a couple blocks away, so we're gonna try and get spikes down and see if we can end their chase before it really gets going. Just went through the intersection. The sheriff's in pursuit of just following the vehicle. Still just kind of rolling. And now we're going to take off going westbound on Garfield from Hansworth. Can you ask that again? No, we are. And uh, he careened a cross spin, we looping into a yard. Fighting it, got him, we got him. There we go. 
You guys want to hobble? Is this all from the accident? No, I stalked me, took off from me. Come on, okay. I didn't stalk. Walk this way. I said you took off from me. I didn't say you stalked yeah. me. State patrol stopped this car. I think it was involved in a hit and run, and they took off from state. We uh, we picked up, and when we tried to stop the car, he did stop, and then just took off. And uh, when he came up to this intersection right here, he just careened right through it into these people's fence. You can see he knocked out actually their driveway fence right over here, and he tried to make a U-turn and uh, get back out on the road. And we just we just pinned him in the car and said, "You're not getting back out on the road. We're done for tonight here." So we'll find out what the troopers want him for. But now we'll add vandalism and hit and run to all that. Was he in a hit and run? No, he just took off from me. Okay, but he's got all that. Damage. I stopped him. What yet? Okay. Route seven. He almost hit that construction. Come on, guys. Oh, okay. He almost hit those guys. So I stopped him and went inside the car and he took off. Okay. Well, I'll wake up the people here because you can see he took out a couple feet of that fence and the way. gate. Okay, we got. Glass, okay, we got aid. Okay, guys. Right, have a seat. Have a seat in there, real quick. Watch your head. Watch your head. So is this damage for the front, is that all from this? From coming through the gate or is that from before? Yeah, no, he didn't hit anything before he came up here and when you got in front of him. Um, it started clear out on stairwell 7. Were you guys chasing him or just following him? Well, at first I was, I lit him up and I pulled him over mm -hmm. and then at that time then I just um, walked up the side of the car. Mm -hmm. I seen his driver's license. He's fumbling for his driver's license. I see it and I said, there's your driver's license. Why don't you give it to me? He said, no, Funk, and left. Really? So at first I was lights and sirens and then he started blowing stop signs. So I turned off okay. because, you know, he was um, blowing stop signs and not stopping anywhere. So I turned it off and he slowed down. Um, I was just waiting to get somebody else behind me so we can take care of it. Even with no lights on, as soon as he saw us, he blew that stop sign at 116, okay. and it was on. He's got all the stop signs that he blew back to it. I'll, or yeah. Backtrack the course and then we'll right. do I'll do that while you okay. take him for the BAC. Okay. okay. I, I got no problem with eluding just from, from my part of things, because we were behind him for about three blocks with the lights and the siren, and then he stopped. And then this made this took off, and I looked okay. through this guy's yard. So he he knew it was the police. And oh yeah. He just didn't good. want to stop for us. That was good. So he gonna go? You're gonna take him and do DUI and excellent. excellent. He can yes. spend a night in the bucket. Yeah. Cool. And this is a good job. You see uh, both sides of people. Fortunately, we see a lot of the bad sides. Occasionally, you see the good sides. I uh, had a call of a man screaming hysterically once I arrived. He was just hysterical. I, I realized he was uh, blind, and deaf and mute. So I took a hold of his hand, placed it on my badge. As soon as he felt my badge, uh, you could see him have a sense of relief and calmness. It's things like that that uh, make me realize I made the right choice for my profession. I responded to a, uh, one subject beating another. It was initially reported as they were on top of the uh, subject and they're now down and the suspect's walking away. And we'll find out what happens when we get there. Hey, stay seated. Come back over here. Police officer, come over here. Cool. Grab a seat. So where's the other half of this? My dad. He's Your dad? Down the street. Where's he at? He's down the street somewhere. Does he live down there or did he walk down there? I know. I him up. Okay. Can I get home soon? Yeah, let's see. So what happened with you and your dad? Nah, we started fighting. What are you fighting with your dad? Nah, we tried to walk back, back, uh, back down the back streets. Uh-huh. 
and I was drunk. So what happened? What started it? Man, I'm drunk. So is your dad going to be as uh, roughed up as you are? Yeah. A little more? Yeah. Hang tight right there. Um, the suspect, the one that hit him. His is, father? Oh, I don't know. It's his father. Yeah, it's his father. He's, he's almost to shield. He's on walking north Is he on Fowler? Side. OK. Is he uh, beat up pretty bad? It looks like he's walking pretty straight, so I don't think he's okay. in the middle of the street. So okay. What, what did you guys see? I saw the guy that's walking hit him uh -huh. and then climb on top of him, and I saw him hitting him several times and choking him. And choking him? Yeah. Okay. That's what it looked like if we were down here. We're just right here. So the other one had the best of this one here? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. We have your phone number? Um, my cell phone number. Okay. If you can leave it on, we may be calling you back shortly. Okay. Thank you very much. <sighs> okay, well, we're gonna talk to your dad. See who we got here. You, gotta keep you want your home? dad arrested? No. No. You guys gonna be right home? I'll talk to him tomorrow. Someone will give you a ride home. Oh. Someone right. will give you a ride. Has not been patted down. He's got blood all over him. Okay. What's this guy look like? Oh, it's his father. What we're gonna do? We're gonna pat him down, take him over to his house, and uh, find his father and see what we got. Okay. See if anyone wants anything done. Stand up for me. I'm going to have you sit in the back of my car, right? You have my wallet? Yeah, stand up. Woo! <laughs> nice. Yeah, uh, I guess so, but like the east side. I don't want you to fall, man. How many beers have you had? Like four or five. Okay. Just relax. See your dad's home. No. Is your dad home? Can you, ask, can you ask him to come out and talk to us? They were going at it pretty well. What's your dad's name? Alex. Can you hang on for a second? Sure. You mind if we come in? Or you want to come out and talk to us? You want to come in? Come out? Doesn't matter. But either way. You don't mind if I do this, do you? Ouch. So what happened? Uh, we were there one minute. Next minute it was like, damn, hell blew. Three Henry out there? Uh, it was like a... Uh, Watching the strippers, and before you know it, it's like three francs, two hundred. Okay, three time to go. So what started all this? Walking down the road, can't drive. We're drinking, you can't drive, and then oh yeah, oh yeah. You know, just one of those crazy kind of things. You know what I mean? You want to press you charges? The blues? You want to press charges against your son? Oh, come on, Mister. Just uh, I gotta ask that. I know, but. I can guess the answer, but I gotta ask that. That's my job. It's because obviously you got pummeled. I mean, you got a laceration up above your left thigh, yeah. across the bridge of your nose. Yeah, it's like one little bam. It's like. Are you headbutt you? Yeah. But it's like one of those. You know what? Are you not paying attention? Why are you not listening? You know when you give the lecture. Mm-hmm. You know the dad thing. And your son lives here with you, right? Why you just get out of the service? So he's staying here. Yeah. Your son's going to go to jail for drunk in public. You're going to stay here, and hopefully you guys can patch this up uh, when he gets out of jail and comes back. Do you want him back here? Well, which one do you want, Jake? I mean, do you want him back here? Well, I don't want him arrested, but I guess there's no way they got to take him overnight. He's going to go to jail for about six hours, no, six, to, six to eight hours. Do you, you want to talk to your son right now? I meant nothing. So when he gets out, it's obvious he's not, he's not going to be able to live here. These guys aren't going to get along. Well, that's off the top. Here, come out. It's your brother, right? Yeah. Okay. Does this happen often? Mm. Well, not on purpose. Probably like once or twice. You know, when they don't, they don't agree on something. But it's gonna happen when they drink. Whenever they drink, they go to blows. Not every time, but it's happened a couple times before, though. Probably once. Okay. You want to talk to him? Yeah. Okay. What's your uh, first name? Uh, JR. JR? Yeah. And this is Anthony, right? Yeah. Anthony, step out real quick. You want to talk to JR? Why? He's here. You want to talk to him? Calm, bro. Uh, yes or no? Yeah, my wrist hurt, though. Okay. We'll loosen him up right here. You okay? No. Okay. Do me a favor. Yeah. Turn face that way. We're going to loosen him real quick. Be calm. I've been there for at least 15 minutes. I don't think it's funny. Just, just be calm about it. Learn something about it, okay? Well, uh, what it is. Dead. Sober up. All right, Anthony. Uh, drop it for tonight. You have to talk sober. Drop it for tonight. Sober we'll up. Yeah, in a little bit. Can I have a seat? Oh. 
Just be quiet, bro. So, so sit like this, or in, so get inside. If you want to, yeah, sit like that. If you want to put your uh, feet up on the seat, just yeah, scoot yeah, your butt all the way in. Man. That's right. You want to talk to your dad? All right. Well, he doesn't want to talk to you, so. Cool. Put your foot in there. Let's go to jail. Oh. <laughs> Some of the things I enjoy when I'm not working is, is hanging out, playing softball. We have a um, travel team for the department. We go to all the police Olympics. Everybody enjoys playing together and also hanging out together. And it's important to like your, like the people that you work with. Okay, I got a vehicle here, no license plate lamp. Uh, made a couple erratic turns as we were uh, behind it. Pull them over here and see what we got. Med 6 traffic. It could be Baker just north of Arrow on 813. How are you doing tonight? Hi. The reason I pulled you up, you have no license plate lamp. Are you aware of that? I just no. got it back from the mechanic today. What was wrong with it? Um, we just got a new rack and pinion put in it. Rack and pinion set up? Like power steering to it everywhere. Okay. Driver's license, registration, and proof of... I don't have my license on. Why not? I just, we left to see a friend, and I left home. You left it at home, huh? I can tell you my license number. You know that? Have you been arrested before? Any tickets? Uh, yeah. For what? Possession. Possession. When was that? Oh, Lord. A while ago. How long's a while? Months. Months? Months, yeah. Okay, are you on probation? No. No probation no, yet. I've have you my ticket and just left. You went to court? Yeah. Okay. Do you have a driver's license, any type of ID on you, sir? Yeah. How about there, back there? Anybody else been arrested for anything before? Any tickets? I'm on parole. You're on parole? Yeah. Okay. What are you on parole for? Robbery. Robbery. Out of where? Out of the Ontario. Out of the Ontario again? Ontario? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to need you to step out. Me? Yeah. You can stay there, man. You have anything on you you're not supposed to have? No. Any weapons, anything like no. that? Okay, just have a seat right here for me. All right, sir, will you step out for me, please? I need to check in the whole area that you don't have anything on you, nope. any weapons. I just want to patch you down, make this for safety. Yeah. What's this right here? That's uh, my cell phone. Cell phone? Okay, do me a favor, have a seat right next to your partner over there. Ma'am, do you mind stepping out for me? Do you have anything on you you're not supposed to have? No? Due to the fact that you have been arrested before for possession, so I'll we'll make sure you don't have anything on you right now. We, I stopped after all that. You stopped after that? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's good. Just um, let me make sure you don't have any weapons on you or anything like that. Okay, and your cigarette case? Okay, nothing else in there. Okay, just have a seat right there. Is there anything in the vehicle I need to be worried about? No. Do you mind if I check just to make sure? Now, why would you want to do that to yourself? So I can be happy all every day. Well, you I don't need to put scars and burn yourself to be happy every day. No, I don't. Right. But it reminds me to be happy, like you tie a, fi a string around a finger. Well, I thought that was the thing on your yeah. wrist. No, that's for my hair. Well, why don't you utilize that instead of putting hair? Burn, and putting cigarette burns in your hands. Some people are into, you know... They... Sadomasochism? Well, no, that's not sadomasochism. No? Sadomasochism, they, they get off on pain. Didn't find anything behind the seat, but um, did find something here in the uh, little fold-down. A nice little sack of marijuana right next to the driver. Looks like it pretty close to an ounce, maybe just under an ounce, more than likely. If she's on probation, then she's going to go to jail, but if she's not on probation, like she says, she'll end up getting a ticket for that. She'll have to go in front of the judge and explain why she's got marijuana in her little compartment here, which is obviously in her immediate control. Yep, another little baggie. This one was probably on her when I pulled her over, and this is what she stuffed underneath the, the seat. It's not a harmful substance. 
It's not a harmful substance. People who can use it responsibly, as with alcohol in adults, it is not a harmful substance. So you're quite knowledgeable in marijuana, is that correct? I'm a college student. I'm, I'm you're a college someone student? intelligent. I've done research. And do you know what tetrahydrocannabinol is? The technical word for THC. That's absolutely correct. And what does that do to one? It affects your brain. It affects your brain. But there's no proof it can well, kill brain cells. Would it affect your driving? Answer me that. Yes, it would, but I am not high. Okay, well, that's what I'm not, well, I'm not telling you, asking you that. Well, I understand it affects your driving. It should be used responsibly as with any legal substance. However, I do not think people should be charged for a substance that is virtually less harmless than most of the prescription medications that doctors prescribe. Is it illegal? Yes, it is. Then there you go. Until it's legal, you can't drive around with yeah, it. That's my opinion. I'm not fighting you that it's illegal. How about this one? This was underneath the seat. Was this on you when I pulled you over and you just stuffed it underneath the seat? It was already there? Yeah. So you got weed everywhere. What was your first name? Michael. Michael, go ahead and stand up for me, turn around, put your hands behind your back. Michael, you have a warrant for your arrest. What? Yep. Man, what is it for? Well, I don't know at this time, but I'll let you know in a second. I think I know what it's for. It's for the, uh, it's a bench warrant, because I didn't show up to court because I was locked up. Well, there you go. Can I put him in your unit? I'll get another unit over here to transport, but just... Okay. Thank you. What happened is I cited you for driver in possession of marijuana less than an ounce. And um, it's a misdemeanor, but it's a site, and I'm going to site release you from here. And I also cited you for no license plate lamp. That's why I pulled you over. Since you're not on probation, it's not going to go against you as far as that goes, okay? All right. Um, the keys are here, and you guys are free to leave. Thank you for your cooperation. Yep. I'm kind of amazed that she's a little on the perturbed side that... Uh, Marijuana is not legalized. She doesn't have a prescription for uh, carrying marijuana, so as far as I know, that's illegal here in California. Well, I think you're right there. Yeah. That's why uh, she's going to have to go to court. You have to go to court and talk to he's the judge. He's going to jail, and the other guy lucked out. Yeah, so, uh, he was a straight one. That's cool. Good deal. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. 132 in Bush. Coverage code 3. Thanks, Ted. Get 2514. Can't transmit on tech 2. 